By any standards, Tom Myholland is an extraordinary person. He's a mad keen surfer, flies a vampire jet. He's a qualified forest ranger, biologist, and general practitioner, and doctor for the Taranaki rugby team. And an honorary lecturer in, psych in the psychology of medicine at the University of Auckland. He has eight successful startup companies, given over 500 presentations globally, and has written internationally best-selling books, and is the chief emotional architect at the Healthy Thinking Institute. His research interests are how emotions can affect the health of, and your ability to think and act clearly and increase your, and mine hopefully, emotionally fitness. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Tom Mahon. So I walk into recess, and there's this gangster type guy, right? He's like handcuffs, handcuffs on, cable ties around his feet, his face down on the gurney, the trolley, and he's got four policemen holding him down, three big security guards. So I get down, I look at him like this, and I go, look, mate, just calm down, chill out, you know? We're here to help you. If you've got a pneumothorax, you're gonna need a drain or something, you know? Just chill out. I'm not gonna do anything, I'm not doing anything. He goes, hey, aren't you that doctor off the telly? <laughs> what is healthy thinking? Well, it's a philosophy and a science. You can flick change your physical response between each heartbeat. So the point is too, you, know, you might go and be physically fit at the gym, but we can work on our emotional fitness. The more emotionally fit you are, the better you'll do, and you'll probably live a lot longer as well. Another one of my favorites, you know, is um, it's not what happens to you, but your attitude towards it counts. So something, something will go wrong today for all of us, right? Life's not fair, life's not just even-handed, it goes wrong. So the minute I go, okay, it's not what happens to me, but my attitude towards it counts, I'm going back to the right prefrontal cortex, I'm getting on with it, I'm not wasting time. We teach people to harness their emotions because it makes us fitter, right? If you can control your emotions, evolutionary, you're going to do better than other salespeople if you know how to do these tools. If just two of you in your organisation don't moan and use cognitive switching, it's a great thing. If the rest of you do it, it becomes exponential. Metcalf's law of networks, that's how we get massive change in organisations. That's how we'll change the culture. That's how we can change our country. He says it really simply, you can really understand what he's saying, but be really active with it, checking yourself out all the time. Dr Tom is outstanding. Uh, great balance of humour. Um, and a lot of the stuff, if you're actually able to listen, and, and, and read into it, a lot of really good deep stuff in there. Oh, just positive. Be positive, be happy, and don't dwell on the negative. That's not to say that Tom won't stop trying, because he's a guy that's relentless and never gives up, and the country needs people like him. No more, no moanzone.com, I'm Dr Tom. Just trying to change your world one thought at a time.